image view is used to display an image file in Android application. Android is enriched with some of the UI features and the best UI design widgets that allows you to make a, and build a good looking and attractive UI based application. So one of these UIs is a UI widgets is the image view that comes with different configuration options to support different scale types. We will learn about the scale types like center, fit XY, fit start, and so others in the during this video. So how to create an image view? We start, if you want to learn Android app development, go to Udemy and search for Android. You will get my course as a bestseller course, the complete Android 12 developer course, Mastering Android. Click on it, you are, you're gonna learn how to build 60 apps from scratch with rating 4.4 and the bestseller. And this course is about 86 hours on video demand. Okay, covering all the topics with 47 sections and about 40, 463 lectures at the, at the time of uh, recording this video. So we are expanding this course and we are adding new tutorials every week. So are you ready to become a professional developer with this course? Join now. By you can make by this going to the palette in the in the UI editor, and we go to the common, the image view, and we can drag and drop an image view, and here we select the source of this file. You see, guys, that there is a folder called drawable that we have talked about it and a map map. Till now, we are considered to use the drawable and we can select one of these or if you have an image that you have to, to add it to the uh, app you can use it by adding it to the drop like we will have so this is the image view that we have created i will remove this and let's go to the code editor and let's learn about how to make an image view in the codes. So we start by making here the image view. It would be between the constraint layout and this ending tag. If you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. So we start by making image view. We use and we select the like wrap content. It would be great. Wrap content. The ID would be image view. And here we come to the most important part which is src which is the source so src drawable okay src what from where we need we put what at drawable okay so at drawable and we put the name of the file here so we go to the folder drawable here. There are two things, the IC launcher background and IC launcher foreground. Okay, we can select one of these. So IC foreground. If we go to here, we have displayed the image. If I use IC foreground, if we go to here, it will be changed because we have changed the image. So I will get a new image. I will go and get an, an image from the internet and I will need to add it to the app. So I have downloaded this image. I will copy it, Android Studio. We go to the drawable folder and we click on paste and we add it to the drawable 
folder, okay, under name Falcon. Just one important note that if I know uh, name it, it uh, with numbers, it will not be read. If I start with the numbers, it will make some conflict. So there is a very important note here. Also, if I start with a capital letter, it will not it will be confusing and will be making an error. So I will make it as like this without the spaces. So also don't make any spaces. Don't start the name of the image with any number. Don't start an image number with uh, an image name with a capital letter. Just name it with small letters and with no numbers. You can make numbers here after the letters, but start with a small letter and with a letter. Okay, so now I can see it here. It's very simple. Okay, it ha have been appeared. Okay, now. I will add the constraint, the missing constraint to here, so. Or you can click directly this. Okay. Now. If I scroll out, zoom out, and I see that there is a full image, full image background, how to make it and how to learn with about the widget and the attributes of this image view. Okay, we have talked about the layout width and height and the ID of this image. <clears throat> Later on, and when we move to the Java and we start edit the attributes, we can make it, we can display the source from here. But tell me, let me show you here. If we go to the drawable Falcon, it is PNG. Okay. Now, how to set it if I remove the source from here? How to set it programmatically? We start by defining an image view image view image equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view okay now how to set the image programmatically image view or image dot set image resource from r dot drawable dot Falcon, you see, it appears here. If we run our application, or if we go to the main activity, there is no, no displaying for this image because as I told you, when you put the attribute, when you define the attributes in the Java class, or when you define the codes and the attributes in the Java file, when it will be executing, when running the app and when building the app, it will set all of these. So it will set the image during the running of the application. Okay, you see, it appears after running the app, not during the coding and uh, while uh, making the UI. We prefer making everything with uh, XML because it will, uh, make a display before running the app and you can make and change and make the UI while coding, okay? You can also make Android background. We can set it as black. If we put here, uh, or we can display it as 40 or 80 dp, 80 dp, you can see that there is, the image have been constrained to the width and the height def defines and dimensions. So 80 dp density pixel and 80 dp density pixels. 
Okay, so if we run the app now, it will have the background as black, the image is here, and it is 80 density pixel. Okay, I can make it 180, 180, and also I can define this attribute background as here in the code. So image dot dot set background from color dot black okay or set background color let me run and see and here we go it is 180 density pixels in width width and height and its background is black and it is image is displayed here okay so we can make the attributes here and we can set the attributes here we prefer making them all in the layout editor which is in the xml okay now in the padding the padding padding attribute is used to set the padding from the left right top or the button of the image view consider we have this 200 200 and i will remove this in order to start building with the gui the ui here and in order to set the uh, image directly so as rc uh, drawable falcon and i will make background uh, color will be black now look guys the padding right set the padding from the right side to, of the image and the left also the left side top and bottom so the padding is used to set a pad or a, a small space between the image and its uh, its uh, frame so how to set the padding we start by making an android so we have here padding and i will set it to 30 30 dp so if you see guys that it have been uh, like shrink in size because it have been moved 30 from this border 30 from this border 30 from the button and 30 from the left so if i increase this to 100 sorry it is not the 100 it is like about 80. you see guys we have moved 80 and 80 from here if i move it 50 it will be increased in size so the padding is from here from the border till the image itself okay so we are moving from the corner from the frame okay if we remove the padding it will become it into the its original size so i prefer like adding some small paddings like 10 or 15 dp it will be great like especially if you have a border or if you have a background okay when putting these edges to the uh, border it will not be good okay guys we will later on uh, we will see in this course the most advanced the ui and the material design and we will talk about these tricks later on with many many uh, times and in many examples now there is another uh, attribute here for the image view it's called the scale type the scale type uh, enables or display the the pattern how the image will be displayed like in the center you see it have been increased in the center or fit xy you see it have been fitting the xy what are the other like uh, matrix matrix have been gone so fit fit end fit start see how it will be 
with being displayed so we can play with the image as as you want okay center crop you see it is cropped by the center center inside is have been in, is centered inside this frame or inside this image layout and border okay so this is about the image view uh, there are many other attributes and uh, we are going to display them later on when we uh, learn and when we deal with complex gui and ui uh, things okay so till now we have this we have talked about how to set the image uh, programmatically here and how to change it and how to set other attributes.